been a little while, but it's still the frozen tundra outside. Um, it's been, I don't know, maybe a month since I did my Game of Nines thing for vintage, maybe three weeks, I don't know. Um, and in between that, it's been like a frozen hell. It's back up to kind of regular, about the same temperatures it was then, but it's been down to minus 30, 35 one morning. Minus 30 is minus 22 Fahrenheit. Um, so it's kind of been up and down a little bit, mostly really cold. So today in the mail, I got this um, SW Motec. Uh, Tail bag. I'd ordered it from Fort Nine, and Fort Nine kicks ass if you're in Canada, anyway. Um, I've ordered things and returned them. I've talked about them before. Um, they they do great reviews. They do um, just they're just a great ordering online is is awesome. It's even it's even. It, for for me, it's kind of a fun, it's more fun than Amazon. Amazon's just one click, you click, you're done, whatever. Um, but this one, it, you click your address and it all turns green. I don't know, it's kind of a geeky thing that it does, but anyways. Uh, so I got this tail bag, because um, if I want to go long distance a little bit, try touring a little bit on this bike, I need some sort of luggage. I could have just strapped this duffel bag on the back but that's kind of so I, I ordered this I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it um, I just want to see and kind of just an excuse to film something um, see how much stuff I can put in there like how long of a trip could I go on with that it's it's nice uh, the mounting is is good it's not perfect it's kind of for this bike it's it's a little maybe a little big for this uh for this bike and my exhaust comes pretty close to my as you can see it's kind of if you can see it's kind of black so my exhaust comes pretty close to my license plate so hopefully it doesn't melt the straps and i could maybe figure out some better way to put them on there but I don't know um, and then on the front here they just go they're supposed to go down by the foot peg and I don't have foot pegs because I have the racks so uh, or the passenger foot peg so but it's got this little bar here so I think I think it mounts okay it's kind of hangs on the rack which is nice it's you know I'm glad I have the rack because it otherwise it would be down too far I think and get in the exhaust and things like that. So um, I saw another kind of review of it. Uh, it's a cargo bag. It's SW Motec cargo bag. And it was a British guy. And he actually helped me determine what I didn't like the, here's the instructions for mounting it. That is it yay so it came with these little buckles that what do you do with these what are these so i don't know i don't know how he figured them out i guess it shows there now that i think about it but yeah the, your your screws for your license plate go through the holes and then and then it's like that but on this one on mine it's right close to the latch it would be way too close for the straps to work so um, like I said it's not perfectly mounted but I think it's kind of thinking of a bigger bike possibly um, but it has so this I didn't know this bag this bag is an internal dry bag so you put your stuff in here and then it stays dry inside there's no cover on the outside um, there's a handle here uh, to 
when you take it off so you can carry it and it zips inside its own little pocket um, so let's uh, let's stuff it up and see what we can fit in there so if I'm gonna if I'm gonna tour see I'm thinking I used, I used to be able to go for a week so if I want think I want to go for a week I don't need I'm always wearing riding gear right so I don't really need jeans but I'll take I'll take two pair I guess right um, so there's one and two and actually actually I should have it would be shorts because I'm gonna ride in the summer and that's what I'm gonna wear it'd be shorts but say say two pair um, say it's a week need a whole bunch of underwear and again I usually wear spandex underneath my my riding gear because it doesn't doesn't bunch like regular underwear does um, but just for the sake of so that's you know I, I think I think you'd get a little more stuff in it if you didn't have this bag in here but if you're going a long ways you probably want to stay you want to stay dry so here's uh, these are like under armor and long underwear and they're kind of they're kind of hot I wish I don't I don't have really any any uh, but this is like my second layer and then I wear and I've worn it worn it in the, the winter or the summer and but I just had mesh pants and uh, touring and they were okay they dried up enough because they're spandex so and I'll take three of those and a bunch of shirts I need undershirts right I just need one shirt but per day maybe there's my dog and I could I mean I could stop at a laundromat and wash things but maybe I just want to go I want to ride so anyways we're getting and yeah like I said I think this bag you'd get more stuff in it if it wasn't wasn't uh inside there but anyway and i have a bunch of socks four or five pair of socks there we go so that is my packing for the week sure i won't need anything else i do have the tank bag if she'll do up like I said my jeans I wouldn't have jeans anyways I'd have shorts but so and I haven't rehearsed this this is not scripted so this is first time ever so and that yeah that actually I probably wouldn't take that volume of stuff but then it has these straps just to keep things tight I guess or something if you want to if you want to put something on top I guess I don't know probably could put something on top but anyways they're, they're a little tight right now but there so there she There she is. And uh, yeah, it's actually, I'm fairly impressed with it, I think. And it's it's solid on there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Um, it's a little bit of a backrest, not really. I noticed the guy, that other guy I watched on YouTube that he had it on backwards so 
you know this this way here makes sense to me because it's it's uh like a tank bag you come in here you open the flap or like a like a t top case right you uh open the flap and your stuff is there and but i don't think the way i have it right now you wouldn't really get into it um all your stuff that you want quickly is in my tank bag my my visor wipe thing batteries things like that bungee cords a uh that's for checking crops for digging in dirt i don't think i would have that so anyways um i ordered springs i'm going to take it to a place called pro action um unfortunately they won't be able to have everything done before they won't the springs won't get in before i want to leave to go to down south so and what they're going to do is they're going to it's and because they, they have to get custom custom springs so they're going to um front and back new valves more for because i it sags a lot um that's it's it's pretty saggy um i don't know if i'd be doing lots of hard dirt stuff with this but i'd like the option to do a bit and i've got you know there's probably 40 pounds hanging there so with fuel and but actually it's kind of cool kind of makes me smile because now i can go somewhere um but anyways and uh, the other thing i want i'm coming out here to do i need to i saw these uh Actually, a friend of mine uh, saw these Rottweiler performance mirrors, and uh, and the way they mount, I'm not sure they'd work. They're uh, I don't know if you, any of you guys have heard of them, but they sit on your hand guards. They mount to your hand guards, and these come off, and then you can get ones shaped like this or round ones, and then they flip around um the in a different position so they can stick out you know for three inches or four inches or whatever um or you, they can fold in or whatever but i don't know because i have these hand guards it looks like they mount up close to here on the hand guard so i don't know so he told me to take pictures and send them to him so that's what i'm gonna do I'm gonna take gonna take a few pictures of that and uh, see. So thank you for. Uh, I should have. I was thinking I should have maybe grabbed the other. Well, I'll do it this way. The other lens. Because this one's a telephoto, 70 to 200. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That's, that's my closest I can be from it for it to focus. So, okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. I forgot. Um, I bought a uh, compressor and a little hose reel. And this is from Canadian Tire, uh, which is, I, I don't know what the equivalent is. If you're watching in, in the States, Arbor Freight, maybe, I don't know. It's not cheap, cheap stuff, but it's not, it's not like commercial or industrial or whatever. It's consumer type quality. Um, which I never had a compressor in here and I thought I want a compressor so and the flat tire on the 690 I filled it up it stayed flat for a month a month because there was no snow so longer not but I filled it up and it appears 
to either have a really slow leak or not leaking at all. So I don't know why it went flat, but I don't know if you can see the stem is at an angle. So I either I, I obviously didn't check it last time when I did the Lurch rides his slow bike fast or the fast bike slow. Um, so, but the tube is shifted inside. So I don't know, should I ride it? Um, Cause I really don't want to take it off and I actually don't have a jack here to be able to lift it up. That's another thing I want to buy is a jack or a hoist or something. And a lot of them are max 300 pounds and this thing's like 350 or 325 or whatever. Um, so I need some sort of a jack to lift it. Because I have, I have this thing here to lift up the back tire to, if we're doing chain stuff and back tire stuff, but then... So anyways, I need... If I'm going to think about taking it off and doing it myself, which I'm fairly mechanically inclined, I just dislike tubes. Really, really dislike tubes. And I have some spoons somewhere. So, I mean... I might... I don't know. I don't know. Or if I take it, I can take it off and take it somewhere and they can fix it. You know, that's better than taking the bike. Anyway, so I need some sort of jack. So if you guys, I mean, I'll just, I can just go buy a cheap floor jack, like a hydraulic floor jack and that'll work. But I see other ones online and but I kind of want to get one soon. So I don't know if you guys have any thoughts um, on what kind of jack you like. Uh, that would be great. Okay, thanks. See you later, bye.